One of the greatest promoters of devotion to St. Joseph in recent church history is St. André Bessette. Born into a poor French-Canadian family, he becomes a brother of the Congregation of the Holy Cross. Assigned as a doorkeeper at Notre Dame College in Montreal, Brother André greets visitors and encounters thousands of faithful who confide in him their sufferings and prayer intentions. Brother André urges everyone to turn to St. Joseph. Soon, reports of miracles spread far and wide. For Brother André, St. Joseph was the great model of a man who was very humble in his service and in his life. Now, Brother André had a lot of fame for his healing ministry and for his presence with others. Now, we could see throughout the oratory, we could see the walls of crutches, for example. We could see the plaques where people have given thanks for their healing. So the fame surrounded around Brother Andre, but it never went to his head. He was always dedicated to that silent service, that humble service, and the model of St. Joseph is truly that for him. Beginning in 1904, with only a small sum he earned from cutting hair, Brother Andre sets out to fulfill his dream of a pilgrimage spot to St. Joseph on Mount Royal in Montreal. Today, his dream is a reality. St. Joseph's Oratory is Canada's largest church and the preeminent international center of devotion to St. Joseph. We're so dedicated to promoting the life of St. Joseph. It also helps that St. Joseph is the patron saint of Canada. St. Joseph's Oratory, it's a place for healing. It's a place where people can feel at peace. So we see that we have a very important role as the church worldwide celebrates the life of St. Joseph.